PC there, Flo. Uh, remember when you gave me this chair? Chairs! Oh, how I missed you. Wait, chairs? Oh, um, gee, these are so like last year. Inanimate Insanity is a show that I make in my spare time when I'm not at school, and uh, it features characters that I made on in 7th grade, I think it was, 8th grade, and it's just a bunch of inanimate objects competing for $1 million. They have a challenge every month, and there are 16 of them, and every episode they compete in a challenge, one of them gets immunity, and then the rest of them are up for elimination for the voters then the viewers uh, vote in the comment section who they want to be eliminated, and then in the next episode, the votes are revealed and that character is sent off, and one by one they all leave until there's a winner, and the winner gets the million dollars. In Adam Insanity 2. Season 2, we're going into it with a lot more knowledge of what we're doing. When we started out Season 1, it was more of just a hobby, but now we really have figured out, like, we have more experience than we've gotten from Season 1, so we are, have the capacity to make Season 2 be as good as it can be. With the scripting, we've taken it to a different level. Like, we have more writers, we have more ideas, we want to put more plot into it. We don't want it to be just a competition, we want to have side stories characters that have as much conflict as they have good qualities so that they're not boring or flat. They have three-dimensional characters. That's, That's a big goal. thing that we're trying to do. Before you pass, you must answer a riddle. Okay. What is the one thing that can help you in your time of need, can lead you to accomplishing your goals, and has everything? Hmm, of course. Walmart. Walmart has everything. It sort of does. For season two, we're working on uh, developing more multi-layered story arcs. With season one, we were kind of focusing on the competition, but now we're more comfortable with that aspect so we can broaden our horizons and explore characters some more. So we're working on developing all the characters so they're not just flat, stereotypical. We want to round them out, make them three-dimensional, feel like real people, you know. The writing process of the series, um, I, I go back and forth with rewrites with Adam. We go, uh, we use Skype and we talk to each other about um, what the next episode should be like, and we, we throw around story concepts, and we'll rewrite each episode like at least 20 times until we finally get it right, and then we have a whole month to plan out the story, so then if we ever come up with a new idea, like at the last minute, we can just try to squeeze it in. Also for winning in Adam Insanity, you get a cookie! Oh really? I do. Yep, here it is. Whoa, seriously? Go on. Um, so for season two, uh, we plan on rolling out the Anatomy and Insanity website for everyone to see. Uh, and this entails simplifying the user experience and basically making it so that all of the uh, viewers are able to vote even if they don't have an account. I worked with a few other coders and we designed the site, uh, we did character pages, and we also made a voting script. This allows people to vote one time on any poll that Adam or any creator wants to release. The main purpose for the polls is to um, count the votes on elimination, and um, basically this allows the creators of the show uh, to simplify their experience. The show plays a large role in my life. When I'm home not really doing anything, I devote all of my time to it. I animate the characters, I voice act, I script, I write, I count up votes, I just, whenever I have the time. And I lose a lot of free time to do other things. Sometimes it hurts me in school, but it's worth it because I love doing what I do and it's something that I want to do when I'm older and pursue my career in it.